crusty crayon. Crayon. Pizza is the pizza. Yo, guys, stop. We're gonna get copyrighted. Stop. No. Nah. I need to find that video where the guys are like sitting around. They like smashes one of those little like foam animal things. He's like, he will never puff back up. And then a guy does the wah. From that one, I think it's an Aerosmith song. I don't know. I'm crazy. Anyways, D and D. Last time we left off, um, and if I'm correct, actually, wait, I gave you a set last week's recording to public because I had to change it to unlisted for Duck to check for something. Anyway. Yeah, no, there, there, there wasn't anything like that. Is that. I feel like that was a different episode. I think Garrett gaslit me. I mean, it happens. He's I, I don't think it was that episode. Probably not, yeah. I, th I think either you sent me the wrong episode, or it just straight up wasn't that episode. I sent you episode 11, I'm pretty sure. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it is. It, it is episode 11. So. If anything bad is in it, the viewers will find out. They will know, chat. I did listen through the entire thing, and I did not see any sections where it was just like, Hey, guys, we're not gonna, we're, we're not gonna talk about this. We're like, we're blah, blah, blah. building a bomb. Hey, Chad, yeah, I, I didn't hear anything of that like that in episode eleven. I think it might have been like episode like nine or ten, one of those two. Maybe. Hello, mother. I need a, I need to sell your TV for weed. <laughs> yeah, well, last time. Let me sell your television. Last time we left off, though, they wrangled the worm, Mister Nibbles. They had a nice sleep. Heinrich had a nightmare, which was nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. really goofy. Uh, they what's with the what's with the mole call? I'm sorry. Well, hmm. What's with the Molkov family and having nightmares? This is normal. Nightmare, nightmare. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Yo, we love Michael Reeves. I rolled on a dice, don't worry. It could have been any one of you the having a nightmare. Weak. And it will... I apologize for acting that way. It will happen again. It will happen again. A lot of Brockhampton up on this playlist, you know, based. Uh, anyways... Yeah, this one left off. They wrangled the worm. Heinrich had a nightmare. Charles got to eat a teensy weensy little bit of soup and was a little sleepy little guy. Uh, Russia had a I'm very... I'm so sorry, I'm breathing on my mic. It's fine. Uh, Russia had a very heart... Eh, not super heartfelt, but a very heartfelt conversation with Garrick. Uh, and we love Garrick. We love Garrick. Defended uh, Harris's honor for but a singular moment after Harris called uh, Heinrich a freak, which was really funny. Because he got upset. The, I, I hope Garrick... No, Her, I hope Harris, a very wonderful fuck you, go die. Morning. No, you're gonna have a, lot of a very a, a very happy Tuesday. I Tee -hee. wish Garrick a very fuck you morning. I hope you guys have a wild... Uh, a, a very a very happy Wildcat Friday. Teehee. Man, I fucking hate my school so much, dude. Yeah. I don't fucking care. Just go fucking wild, 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 gotta go, gotta go wild, have a super wild, wild, wild cat day or not. The choice is yours. But then they got rid of the or not. The choice is yours and just put like have a super wild cat day. And I was like, we Ugh. used to. Oh my god, we used to have that at our school. Uh, you can have a wonderful day or not. The choice is yours. We'll see you around campus. Yeah, they said campus. That sounds sus, dude. That's suspect. Because dude, that's we suspect. I don't know. That seemed kind of suspect. Seems kind of. That seems kind of sus. Anyways, guys, Among uh, us. sparkle on. It's Wednesday. Don't forget to be yourself. Oh, okay. Don't forget to be oh, yourself. Winky face! Exclamation die. point! Exclamation point! Question mark! I don't want to die. Please be gay then. No. Here's a gay anyway, person that doesn't <laughs> move. Yeah. So currently, um. A good friend, Carius, who is not here for this session, uh, bless his soul, uh, my face win the no. win, uh, is currently at, uh, well, he wanted to try to find the tome, you know, continue on his quest proper, but of course, you guys can follow in his footsteps if you wish, uh, whether it causes issues or not, um, or you can ask what other work around there, or you can continue to explore on your own, it is really up to you guys where you want to go from here. I think we can, well, since he isn't here yet, I think we can go on our own path for a little bit. Yes. All right. I think, hold on, we were 
as we were trying to figure out what more work to do for the weird <laughs> spider people are. Or no, 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 no. We were thinking like, oh, the toe must be in this cave or whatever. And then we realized like, oh, I think you got gypped, bro. Might be somewhere else. Perhaps. But what if it was here and uh, we just left Carius's like most most prized possession, most treasured we're, object? We're, we're in a we're in a like I I'm gonna get there's a lot of other shipwrecks on this island. Well, there are. But how nuts. many of them are gonna have a weird fl uh, flesh being? That is true. And also, how many of them are in the Earth? Yeah. That is a good point. I'm into Earth. Are you into Earth? Yo, I'm the worm! I'm into Earth! Oh, hell no. The Eternal Worm came back to Connecticut. Oh, hell no. To Connecticut? Why worm. is the Eternal Worm in Connecticut? That's where he's from. The Alaskan Bullworm. The horrifying realization that that Mr. Nibbles is uh, from Ohio. The worst situation possible. Fucking God! Damn it! But of course, there's more work to be done. You guys can't explore the caves more. You are in, uh, as described by the Spider Queen originally, you are in an area that is, well, at least with Garrick or the Spider Queen, I'd have to go back and have to do a check, uh, that is an area that is outside of the ship's influence. So, the ship can't influence you. Truth, doubt, and... Heart. What? Heart. Heart? Yeah. Yeah, it was truth, doubt, and heart. And truth, I think, doubt, right? Something like that. I don't think it was heart. I... Goddamn, I didn't write it down anywhere, I don't think. I wrote it down, but it is on my computer, so that is unfortunate. Uh... But yeah, so you guys can explore. I'm going to, because it doesn't pick up YouTube audio, I'm going to dig through... Um, I'm gonna dig maybe 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 dig through a little bit of one of the episodes. Uh, see if I can find it. Uh, it in one of your drawings. Was it? Yeah, it was in the weird depiction of the weird heart thing or whatever, the bell pepper. Truth, doubt, and I don't think it was. Let me let me go check. I should start pinning certain art. You bitch. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not a bitch. I'm just a gamer. Garrett. I'm never gonna... I'm never gonna not stop loving you, bitch. bitch. You're a cracker. And? No, and... he's a fella, dude. Yeah, fella. Don't oh, my, bad, my bad. My bad, fella. Chat room, their racism is crazy. Shut Chat up, room. feller. Chat room, he's racist. Kill him now. Chat room, D's. Nuts. They don't know about D's. Chat room giggles like a child. D's. Dang, they don't. They, 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 they don't know about Philip. They don't know about Philip. Chat room, they don't know about Philip. Five dollar Philip. 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 My balls. <laughs> Fuck. You know what I mean. Disgusting. Free. Wait, what the? Why did you post that twice? Post what twice? You what do you mean? Post what twice? You what? posted it twice. Post what? Twice? In memes, dude. You put it twice. Oh, one of them is a gif. Which one's the? Oh, okay, it's the bottom one. You can actually see it sparkle. Okay. Sparkle That's on. That's actually kind of funny. Yeah, I, I, I'm forgetting what the funny motif is, but I believe it was truth, doubt. It was truth, doubt, and something else. Anyways. But yes, you guys can explore the place if you wish. You can explore many tunnels. Or if you want to, you can try to get back on track, track and get to the ships. Uh... The ships? 
What do you mean by the ships? No, you can get try to get back into the ship or find another section of it. As oh. it is still heavily fragmented and and what was it and the malignant sections of it have spilled out elsewhere. We could go to other sections. Yeah, we can do some uh um looting. Do some off after, the off camera mining as they say. After boss looting, baby. Let's go. Sussing. I guess we could do that. Yeah, let's do that. All right. I will give you three options. As the ship itself was relatively... Well, ships are big, anyway. They are large, rather large structures. This was a much, much larger ship than usual. Uh, you could say it was a bit um advanced for its times and its size and what it had on it, but you don't really know all of what had it on it yet. I'll give you three options. Left, right, and middle. That's for the eh, that's for the pretty simple one. Each one is obviously a different part of the ship and holds something different. Potentially even a different puzzle. Alright. Uh let's see Where should we go? We got the left, the middle, the right, uh Your mom. Well, since it's only three of us. If we get a three-way split, I think we're going to have to... We're going to have to do something. Probably rock, paper, scissors or something. My opinion, I think we should go left. Duck! What? Sorry, I'm... We're, we're deciding where to go. Heinrich has said we should probably go left. Yeah, but what if we went right? Well, Naomi, you're the tiebreaker. Oh my <laughs> <laughs> Earth, to Ni Earth to Naomi. Hello. What? Which, which huh. way should we go? Uh... That away, and she points left. Right, left it is. Left, you say. Left it is, baby. I can't believe you left me for for real. I'm going right. No, I'm just kidding. That was a lie. I'm Don't kidding. Don't split the group. I'm going to split the party, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not actually doing that. I'm not crazy. Sure. I don't go crazy with it. Go crazy with go it. Crazy with you it. go crazy with it? I rush I don't. go crazy with it. I do, in fact, go crazy with it, huh? I rush go crazy with it. Crazy with it and a bit fruity. He loved to see it. He, she made she the music made her lose control. Music make you Music, music make you lose you. control. Music let you lose control. Blood control. Blood! We went to head left down this tunnel. This tunnel. Yes, is, we head left. This specific tunnel oh, is right. mostly devoid of things, and it's not a worm made tunnel. It actually does look like a proper mine tunnel, uh, as you seem to be entering more of the original mining area. Uh, and as you continue down, you are met with what appears to be a small colony look of sorts. Some remnants of it, though. It seems to be a small, almost shanty-like town made from uh, the wood and the metal bits of the ship, but it's mostly devoid of life from what you can see. Uh, though the room smells awful, it smells horrible. It smells like rot. And sulfur. Um. Yeah, it smells awful in there. Look at that fire. Anyone have an idea what is there anything notable in this room? Can I make a check? Uh yeah, you can make a perception check. All right, hold on. And I will I'm describe trying. the basic room layout after that proper because Shantytown, you know, obviously that's a very that's a very it's a descriptor, but not a good enough one. I've 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 heard of shanty towns, but there is a very wide variety of them. Yeah. I have the storm, you character Heinrich you. You. All right, mm. perception, baby. There it is. Okay. 
<laughs> guys, two. Not on that one. Mm, that one. <laughs> uh, if, Should I roll a perception as well? If you wish. I yeah. please. Uh, it's a shanty town, certainly. There might be, maybe there's something in it. Maybe there's bones. Maybe there's skeletons. You, you can't like Bruh. see anything, like on hand. Skeletons. Bone. Lamp oil. Rope bombs. She, she lamp oil on my rope to lay bombs. That is a fourteen. Not too great. Not too bad. It's something, certainly. 14, though. Uh, this is a shanty town, though. Uh, there is a certain layout, it seems. Uh, there's a left... There's obviously... Most of the bigger sort of uh, shanty houses... Uh, most of the bigger ones seem to uh, be more on the right side uh, of this little shanty town. And there is a rather large-looking building, though it looks mostly like some part of the ship that was just so intact... They just kept it there. But what you do notice is that, oddly enough, there are no holes or anything in this wall that would allow this stuff to be in here. The shanty town is self-explanatory, obviously. People broke down the ship, you know, like I said. But that bit of the ship that's in there, it just, it's fragmented off from the ship originally, but there's seemingly no way it should be in there. No logical reason, even with magic encountered. But that's where the largest structure is. It's some sort of maybe a meeting hall of sorts. There's some larger ones... Uh, there's some uh, smaller ones near it that are more actual housing looking, but otherwise it's mainly just uh, what consists of a large camp area uh, in this middle, and then more of a kind of shanty town in the right. And you see the occasional skeleton here and there, uh, but you do seem to hear sounds of something. Something scurrying about. Spiders. Uh, interesting, interesting. Did anyone else hear that? Uh, scurrying. Like scuttling, yeah, like little feet. Oh, Rush is gonna pull out her rapier and short sword. Alright. Actually, no, not the short sword, the just Sailor's Fury. I, I almost forgot that I had that. It is very smiley face. Oh! Emotar. Garrett just disappeared from reality. Up here. Yep. He evaporated chat room. What, bro? Apparently he evaporated. There's nothing left of his body. I didn't evaporate. I'm right here. No. Jane Why didn't you evaporate? Deadly even. No, I guess I failed. I'll have to think a little harder next time. I'll have to use my mind powers more. What? Did you want me to evaporate? I've been thinking no. really hard about it. I think you should evaporate. Yeah. I tried praying, but God isn't answering, so I'm just gonna, like, think, it, I'm think using about mind. it really hard. Yeah. I'm using mind powers. Sometimes I do that. People walk into the Dollar Tree, and I just look at them, and I just, like, I'm trying to blow them up with my mind. You know how it is. I don't Yeah, you heard skittering. Skittering. Of tiny little feet sees on the ground. Some sort, some sort. Would you guys like to go into? Would you guys like to go in to this? Little yes. I guess so. Yeah, sure. All right. Uh, some of the bones have been like broken, broken. Uh, as in, like something got at them. Uh, but largely, there's mostly just stuff left over. Uh, in the middle, uh, around all of these. Shitty wooden tents of sorts uh, is a, ver a rather large fire that at one point was powered by coal, and eventually you can see there's little bits of uh, either wood, paper, other stuff like that, even little bits of some sort of magic spark starter of some sort, uh, even some clothing. Uh, you can search the current area if you wish, and that would be a perception. <laughs> I that would be an investigation check. I will do an investigation roll. I got a minus one. So, a 14? No, no, no. 14? Alright. Is everyone else doing investigation checks, or is it just Heinrich? I will do an investigation check. Okay. I will, uh... 
Well, I'll do one, two, why not? All right. Oh, oh, all right. Glad to hear it. Uh, Heinrich. I'm more intelligent than you... I am wise. That's so silly. Uh, Heinrich, as you look around and begin to dig through some of these, some of them are in better shape than others. Some of them are propped up properly. Some of them are misbuilt. Some of them are just already collapsed, or some of them have been taken apart and used for fire for the fuel. Uh, you do find weapons here and there. They're old, they're rusted, they're basically useless. Uh, but you find rather much older looking daggers, swords, even a, a halberd of sorts. Uh, you come across a scepter, but the actual magic bit of it at the top that where you'd, there'd be a ball or a gem or something has been broken. I rolled a 20. 20? Swag, swag, swag. So 23. Swag, all right. Uh, but these are rather old. The only thing you do notice is one of the swords looks similar to a sword you'd see in your part of the world originally. I have to find the specific name. A Claydemorg. No. An Odachi. It's the Sir Germanic. Germanic. German? It should be. I mean, he is German. Yeah. He is German. You find a gross messer sword. I will post one for reference. It is in horrible condition. Obviously, it's a lot older, but it's it's a sword you'd see infantry using a lot uh, earlier in time and such. Oh, these ones. Yeah. Mm. Uh, as for Naomi, you know, I'm getting a fucking 23. Jesus Christ. Uh, you, as you look around, uh, having heard the little skittering, you look for, you look for items and everything, and you find a couple bits of, uh, older coins here and there that might be able to, uh, you know, sell, be worth selling for something, or, uh, some sort of exchange, or hell, maybe someone still takes them. Uh, you find bits of broken armor here and there, though the armor, some of it's just outright dented, and some of it is, like, burned away with magic, so, uh, some sort of conflict that, uh, that clearly has been mentioned. Uh, has gone on here at some point and as you look around though you do notice some of the bones and stuff have dried up pools of something it's almost this odd how to put it it's an odd almost orange like substance but it's dried up and it's not like weathered or decayed it's somewhat recent looking it hasn't lost its color yet it's still it's fervent orange color What is it? It is a odd, fervent orange liquid that is that some of it is dried up, some of it isn't, and you mainly find it near where there were uh, some bodies with like broken bones by something that isn't human. Why don't you try to touch it? Actually, do you want to try and touch it? Is the question I will ask you. Range mystery liquid. Can I can I roll a check to guess what it does? Uh yeah, make an hmm. Make an intelligence check. Actually nature check. Nature check. Nature. So this thing's made out of Yerbas. Yerbas? It's made out of Yerbas. Yerbas. Um, what the fuck is my nature, bro? What the fuck is... Oh, there it is. It's my intelligence. I love my intelligence. 21. 21. Uh, it's... How to put it? It's a... It is... It can decay things. You, uh, you grab one of the bones and you put it against it. And it doesn't burn the bone enough to decay it. But it leaves a nice, nice, like, attempt at it. Kind of dulling the other end of the bone. Uh, to the best of its ability. Uh, and it looks like if it was to go against organic skin, it would have a very easy time burning away at it and infecting. It almost looks living to you if you give it a second look over as well. Shifting around a little bit, but not living on its own like a slime would. Bro, it's raining slime, bro. King slime about to spawn in, dog. You gotta get the fuck out of here. I can't fight king slime. What about queen slime? Not we're even more fucked if it's Queensland. I I assume this bottle has like a cork on it, right? 
Oh no, it's not in a bottle. Or whatever it's in. It's just on the ground. Oh, there's just li oh, it's just on the ground. Yeah, it's ah. ju it's just on the ground. Huh. Interesting. You find more um, of it as you look as well. It seems it's mostly near skeletons. Someone's melting people. Melting bodies. People are being melted. By what? I don't know. Uh, mystery liquid, I guess. Obviously, has to come from something, correct? Well, um, you let me know when you find out, because I haven't. Uh, can I make another investigation to look around a little bit more? Oh, go ahead. Uh, oh, Russia, what did you make? A lot of oh, investigation. Yeah. Definitely not as high as Naomi. That's good to hear. Fuck, what did I roll again? I got another 14. Shit. I think I got a 15. Hmm. I'll tie you and uh, Heinrich together in that end. You two are searching together. Or, Heinrich is sticking more to you, uh, hoping that if there's anything you don't spot, he can spot, you know? Typical teamwork so kind of shit uh and as you two do this you do find some of this liquid uh but you also seem to find some sort of how to put it besides finding uh, more armor and weapon that is broken cracked burned with magic or otherwise completely ruined by time and debris and stuff uh, you find a few packs you find some of these uh ancient little coins everyone uh total counting everybody would have about 15 at this point uh, 15. 15 of these little coins. You can just throw them in a left And that's just you everybody. Want. Yeah, that's an overall. Okay. Uh, but you find what appears to be uh, an odd looking nest of sorts. Though it's it's largely made out of bones from the surrounding area, rib cages and stuff. And it's set up in a rather odd manner. It's almost bird-like. Like it's, it's circled and then there's a little like like, it's mainly rib cages, and then in the front where you'd step through if you were a normal animal. A rather large fucking animal, it seems. About the size of a dog. Uh, it's just is a that, bone so you can step in. Is that and actually? there are some pus and pustules around inside of it. You guys, I'd, I'd imagine, don't step inside. Because these things are still kind of bubbling and boiling about. Uh, whatever this living, somewhat living mass of rot is. It's, it's something. Ugh. Is that... What the fuck is that? Well, ask so Russia. Oh, Russia. Life to... Uh, Earth to oh, Russia. I think she's dead, chat. Chat, she, she's gone. Duck. Duck. She's dead. She's dead. She's dead. Duck. Duck. Ducky. Duck bird. Doug. Doug. Du Duga. Duga Duga. I I return. Welcome back. There he is. I am back. Indeed you are. He's back. Uh, Duck, before you and Oresha, or, uh, before Oresha and Heinrich is an odd nest made of bones, and in the middle is this odd, uh, mounds and bits here and there of pustules and pusses and, uh, boils that are just... Uh, moving about like they're they're moving but they're not leaving where they are you know what i mean like fish eggs maybe. yeah oh and heinrich has asked you what the fuck it is not that you probably know uh, i have no idea what this could possibly be i am not a 
a person of animal or biological makeup. Uh, well, that sucks, I guess. Heinrich is going to kind of toss a rock at one of these pustules. Made oh, okay. Uh, the pus when you hit pops, and uh, more of this odd, fervent orange liquid begins to spill out. Not enough to reach you. In, is there anything inside of the pustule, like, like hard mass, or is it just liquid? It is just liquid. the The self, like, like the mass itself, is flesh of some sort, something living. Uh, but it largely just lets out a bit of liquid. You see chunks here and there, little bits of bone, though. Oh. That's... That's appetizing, I guess. Mm. Damn it. Okay, fucking... Never mind, sorry. Um... That is... Honestly, the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. I feel like we shouldn't mess with it. Uh, agreed, I guess. Osher's just gonna, like, kind of, like, sort of explore around them. Alright. Uh, the area Heinrich around them follow. appears to be where people would have eaten at some point. It's sort of a... The, this odd nest is outside of this shack, but it seems to be some sort of cook shack. Uh, as there are pots and pans that have been misplaced, damage and stuff, uh, old, long, rotted food, basic knives for cutting and stuff. There's even what appears to be an axe that was used to probably split some of the tougher meat that they could get their hands on down here. Uh, you do, you do notice though. There is, there is a somewhat petrified. Well, to describe this petrified is odd. They are. A, it's what you would imagine was the cook at some point. Uh, they're mostly skin and bones. They're long dead, but they're, they're still standing up, uh, looking ready to cut something. But they're not alive. Mm. Hey, that's fucking hilarious. Uh, Heinrich is kind of stifling a laugh. Oh. Oh, that's... <laughs> unfortunate, I guess, but oh god. Why do you have to die like that? I don't see what you find funny. He's... I... It, it, it's like he's frozen in time. Usually when someone dies, they limp over, fall over, and die, but this guy's just standing up. No, I mean, you hear more of the clicking and clacking of something. Almost like nails wanna... against stone. I want to follow it. I want to try to find where it's coming from. Make a perception check. Uh, reception. Ow, uh, my arm. Reception. Um, erk. Erm, uh. Squawkwork. Zoinks. Like, okay. zoinks, dude. Fucking load, she. Goddamn. No. Rolling. Bam, 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 bam. I'm losing my fucking mind. Okay. That's a fucking 17 plus whatever the fuck my perception is. 19. Nice. You catch wind of its legs, uh, and they look rather... They're clearly the legs of some sort of dog, but they rather. are... They are rather, rather thin, and you can see pustules and a bit of uh, fur that has been there. To call... To say there's skin on their bones is a little genuous. Or, bleh, my brain. It's a little dis generous. Yeah, generous or disingenuous. My brain mixed both of them. It's a little generous. It you can mostly just see the bone. It's like the skin is clinging to it, and it seems the to be membrane. heading towards where Russia and uh, Heinrich are. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna like use my eye, and I'm just gonna like inspect the stuff around. It's just MF skin and bone. Dog, the fuck? That's weird. Uh, We're gonna attack by plague hounds, baby. Let's go, hellhounds. And they no, really plague, motherfucking just said, they really just fucking said, uh, fetch me their souls. God damn. Fetch me their souls. Was, okay, I gotta be uh, honest when I say this. There was a time when I thought they said, fetch me their toes. To bruh. I'm being bruh. honest and serious. Uh, no, we're just gonna pop. Um, ah. 
I'm not sure what that is, but it seems like there's a weird uh, skin, bone, skeleton monster approaching you two. Um, what? Oresha is gonna look she's, over. She's just gonna point right at where it is. Uh, Oresha, <laughs> where she's pointing is blocked by your view, because uh, there's wall there. Uh, but you can hear the clacking now as well. Oh. Is that what that noise was? I think so. Oh, it's just, um, just gonna like get like an overall scan of the area with her m magic eye. Right. While she does that, Heinrich's preparing his weapon. There is, as you would expect, an absurd amount of magic in the air, but you do notice there is something a little different here and there. Um, how to put it? There is what appears almost corrupted magic covered with this rather odd orange fervent uh, color. And it hangs over some of the bodies. The cook's body itself is covered with this. And if you didn't know any better, you would say he was probably the source of this sort of stuff. Of what happened. And as you look at some of the pots and pans, they're not caked with it, but they're laced almost. Uh, they're unclean, but they're also a little laced with it. You know what I mean? Bits here and there where old food were have that sort of odd thing. You can even see some of the uh, seasonings have hardened chunks of it in them. Other than that, though, it's mostly normal magic uh, here and there. There's the lingering mm. uh, bit of death magic, but that's just long uh, long magic that's been there since, you know, they died. Uh, a, a pretty normal remnant of magic you'd see in any area. Oh, Russia just, like, kind of just thinks for a moment and then looks towards uh, the direction that Naomi had uh, pointed out before. Weapons in hand, just watching. I'm just gonna kind of scan the area with his eyes. Oh yeah, don't uh, don't use the sink in the bathroom for like an hour, okay? Okay. My brother is giving me bread. Don't go to the bathroom for an hour. We have um. When you have people who maintain beards in a house, right? You know how bad a sink gets? Pretty bad. Uh, yeah, so Austin's gonna throw some, like, stuff for it in there and, you know. I don't intend to use it in an hour, so I'll be fine. But, uh, yeah. Do I need to piss? I'm go piss. Okay. I'll be back. Anyways. Slowly but surely, this thing is creeping around to the entrance, and it peeks its head in, and... Mm. In Russia, and, well, Heinrich's probably more experienced. Heinrich, you've had to fight against different people before. You've had to go against other armies, and one of the things some armies do, the more, um, brutal ones, is they starve their dogs somewhat. So that whenever they, whenever a dog gets their hands on a person... It's food, so they attack worse, which can lead to them getting distracted and just going at one person. But you know what? If it takes down one soldier, those sort of armies don't care. This looks like that to an extreme. Though, those dogs you've seen usually have some sort of normal... Like, they look at least somewhat normal. This one is missing fur mostly along its body. It's most amount of fur is uh, atop its nearly visible spine. Uh, and there are slashes and pusses and boils all over its body. It's thin, but the front of it has more of these. In fact, it doesn't technically have eyes. It more just has these odd uh, pustules that seem to look and move about and stare at you. It doesn't seem to attack on sight. Heinrich is going to just stare down this, a this animal while also signaling to the others where it is. It's looking right into the door, so both, uh, Heinrich and Arasha can see it. Ah, uh, fuck it. Covered the entrance. Your mom? Your mom. Unless you want to fight a starving dog and probably get some kind of disease. I'd be the- you be the guest, I guess. But, honestly, it seems we have no other way. Russia, could you make me an... Actually, you, you, you're using your eye, right? Yeah. Make me an Arcana check, please. An Arcana check? Oh boy, this is gonna be great. Oh, shit. Not what I meant to do. It's the wrong... Uh, app. 
Oh crap. Okay. Uh, just gonna roll my dice. Yeah, no. But, uh, well, whatever, whatever you're trying to do, it's not gonna happen. I rolled a natural three. Natural three. Cringe. So looking. I didn't even add my modifier yet, and I doubt it's gonna do anything. Yeah. Uh, even with the three, I'll give you something because I'm gonna give you something anyways. Uh, looking at it, there's something bound to it. Like there's an energy going through it, but you can't. How to put it? It's bound by something, but even with your knowledge of magic at the moment and what's been going on, you can't really seem to recall what it would be bound by, that sort of thing. Perhaps you need something to call upon it, perhaps you have to do a prayer, a chant, or perhaps it just appears with rot and stuff. You don't know, but it's definitely the source of the rot. But it's just kind of staring at you currently. It's not doing anything. It does, like, open its mouth, let its tongue out, like, cool down as if it actually can get hot, and, like, more of this rot, almost, like, little bits of it from its drool slop onto the ground. Hmm. Huh, I'm unsure as to how to proceed with this. Cry about it. Yeah, Shut the anything? fuck up, Garrett. A Russia, I'm thinking on. right now. Uh, alright, alright. I'll leave you be. Mm. I can Thanks, just looking at say you. this is a complicated situation that I'm unsure as... Mm of how to solve, as I have no training in the arcane arts. Domi, you hear walking behind. Clanking metal. I turn, I turn around. Oh, sorry. My brother wanted to talk. You're good. I mean, you are met with a um, not quite an odd sight. It is a full set of rather decorated-looking armor, and the head of this armor itself is an odd—it's—it's uh, it's sort of an odd circle-like, circle square-like shape with indentions and stuff in it, almost mimicking something uh, beast-like. Uh, and it wields a great axe in one of its hands. It is about seven foot tall and from what you can see from the bits of armor that aren't covering or from, from under armor that isn't covering two well parts of the bodies you can see pusses and boils uh, on rather rather bony looking bony looking legs and arms and such and it seems to just also be staring at you you can't see it in any eyes so you don't really know what it would be you know how what kind of look it's giving you It's just, it's just a suit of armor. Yeah. Um, knock, knock. She's gonna, like, tap its fucking, like, the breastplate. It leans down, like it, like, it squats down, and it mimics what you did onto your chest. That sexual harassment smacks the, smacks the suit of armor. <laughs> Fucking, fucking, Arusha just backhands it. Just the thing just leans up, like raises its hand slowly, and you know what the fuck's gonna happen next. Oh. Uh, Arusha's gonna look at the uh, the armor is uh, inspect it with the magic eye again. Just like, what the? There's so much shit going on here. Sorry, I'm back. Your point. The armor okay. is also very magical. Is it, is it like perfectly mimicking what I'm doing? Yes. In fact, when I say perfectly mimicking, it tried to like do what you did, 
but it just ended up, because it's, like, seven foot tall, it just, like, knocked on the air before repeating by like, crouching down and then doing it. Uh, Arashua. This armor is the same situation as some of the stuff in there, except for it's a lot more. It's bits of magic here and there, bits of death magic, normal magic, some life magic, but overall there's this odd mist of just, of, the, of that rot-colored, fervent orange around it. Its axe is... How to put it? Its axe is odd, though, as it has none of this, and from what you can see, the axe is in a sort of on fire. Like, it's not visible, but it seems to be keeping this rot away from the axe, that sort of thing. So, the axe doesn't seem to be rotting The axe doesn't seem to have any rot on it, no. The axe is in mostly good condition as well, like, it looks completely fine. What about the armor? The armor is mostly in good condition, but it's been a bit weathered. Uh, where, it, where it would probably once be this nice silver armor of some sort of champion, with lots of different engravings, pictures of beasts. The helmet seems to mimic some sort of beast, though. Uh, no one in the party can seem to remember or decipher it on hand. Is splattered with bits of orange here and there. Some of its pauldrons on the armor itself are broken off to reveal large pustules that are almost threatening to burst. So the armor is in decent would condition, I... but it's not great. Would I... Can I make a, like a history or nature check to decipher the animal that the helmet's based on, based off of? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, history or nature? History. I'll say history and nature. Uh, history will be like what the idea is, and nature will be the exact, depending on how you roll. Let's see. Fucking God damn it! Love it when my phone auto rotates and then the f and then the screen goes black. Okay, 18. bro, it's so funny, dude. It's so funny. <laughs> you know, right? Uh, history is a twenty-one, and then my nature, which is also intelligence, I believe, is a eighteen. Eighteen. All right. Twenty-one uh, and eighteen. The armor itself, the helmet, is the main giveaway. Well, the armor is engraved with all these depictions of beasts. It's a lot of different beasts. But it's mainly beasts of legends, that sort of stuff, where it's incredibly, incredibly powerful, uh, strong beast of strength. Uh, but the helmet itself is more of a dead giveaway. Uh, like I said, it's an odd round square shape. The bottom of the helmet uh, that you'd be would normally be around the chin area slopes off and rounds slightly. And there's these odd, sort of almost ear-like appendages of steel coming out. And at the top, there's a so almost like a metal horn of sorts coming out. This is a specific beast that even your part of the world has a name for. This is a beast of corruption. Beasts of corruptions come in many different forms. They come in uh, the typical where it's simply taking over a person who has gone past their limits, their will, sacrifice their pride, all that metaphorical kind of shit, uh, to just unfurling them into something horribly corrupted, to even as simple as turning rats into plague-bearing beasts. That sort of thing. And this is mainly a mimicry of a warrior of many years ago who became corrupted and was slew by was slew by a priest. Though no name is properly known. The only name there is that there's no proper name name, like no name for the knight that you know were recorded, but the only thing that is known is the beast champion. Sick ass suit of uh, mimic armor, beast of corruption, M mimic champion. Awesome. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> you guys look over, and Naomi's gonna be like fucking playing around with this thing. Like she's gonna be doing things and watching it do it too. She's just gonna be, she's gonna be playing around with it. Yeah. Is this what I think it is? Hmm. Like out of character. Is this what I who think do you, it is? Who do you think this is? I don't want to. I DM don't want to spoil it. D D DM me it. If I'm wrong, Naomi, tell what me are you I'm doing? Wrong. Oh, I was I was almost about to text stuff. No, no, let him hope. 
Naomi, what are you doing? Hmm? What are you what? doing? Uh, you, this, uh, this, uh, this, this big suit of armor fella showed up, and he's like, he's, he's, he's copying me, and it, it's funny. <laughs> As it's... you see her jump up, and like, if you see him, like, jump up and, like, flick its head, and then, like, he flicks her head. He's like, see? What? Why? It's funny. What exactly is it? What 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 is it? Um. So it's like a suit of armor. It's based off of the beast of cor beast of a beast of corruption or a mimic, or a mimic champion. Um. Hold hold, hold on a minute. Beast of corruption. Uh yeah, you know it's kind of like several different beasts all together. Like if you look at its helmet. Um, I don't know if that's what it is, but that's what the helmet depicts. Uh And this is just normal to you. Well, I, w I can't exactly say it's normal, but it I've seen weirder things. Hmm. <laughs> Naomi. So, so what you're trying to say is we're in basically a place where Corruption is a thing. Yeah, seems like it. I don't like this, not one bit. Ugh. Yeah, but, yeah, but look, this one's friendly. <laughs> As she, like, puts out her hand for, like, a dap, but, like... Oh, can I make a history check to say what this thing is as well? Then, then, oh, yeah. Then she then she daps up the suit of armor. Eleven, I wouldn't know. The suit armor, know. The suit of armor does exactly as and daps you up. Uh, Beast Champion... Corruption beasts, these are all things in your culture as well, Heinrich. Uh, and they're seen as particularly dishonorable things. This one, though, from what you're looking at it, even if Naomi told you the meaning she got from it, you would get a completely different one from it. It's similar to stuff that you've seen, but it's not like... How to put it? You were definitely warned at some point, especially given your height and your stature, that if you go beyond, you could face corruption, that sort of stuff, which very, very possible still. Uh, but this is not one of the uh, symbols of it you would recognize directly. So what we have here is the beast of cor uh, the beast uh, thing of corruption. I forgot the name. Um, it's a, it's it's a beast of it's a it's a beast champion, beast, beast of champion. corruption. Yes, 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 yes. Other other things, you know. Wait, do yes. I roll a history check or something? You Usually, if you general, because you might get a different interpretation. Tell the story of him to basically keep us from trying to give into our. What is my history? Oh, okay. Mainly, people believed it to be a myth. Uh, though seeing the armor makes me think otherwise. I got a fifteen. Fifteen. So, corruption F10. is a different thing. You are from an infernal area, born in Bessel area, depending on uh, both sides, given your family and your mother. Corruption yep. is a thing that is talked about, and you'd figure it'd be rather popular in the culture of certain demons, and it is. Most demons obviously aren't malicious, so a lot of them tend to avoid it. This one to you looks more... Sin the face looks more like a centipede to you, as you have beasts of corruption, but you have definitive beasts of corruption. There's centipede. Uh, ravens are one of them, though you've known there's dual meaning. Raven can be death, or it couldn't be corruption. It can be both. It just depends on a specific detail. Uh, there's vultures. Uh, there's certain snakes as well, depending on where you're at in uh, the infernal abyssal areas. But this looks more like a centipede to you. So this this doesn't exactly look like a beast of corruption kind of thing. If it did, it'd be like a beast of it, it'd be the centipede, which is a different sort of corruption. It, it holds the so, same like pride, arrogance sort of thing, but it's still it, it's a specific one in your eyes. That's how you see it. Well, you're both sort of correct. It seems more specific. It's, uh, of the centipede, to be exact. In demon culture, there's very many of them, but there's certain 
ones. This is the beast, uh, the beast of corruption centipede, I believe. Dealing with a centipede. Yes. Uh, we can't fight a god, obviously. So we gotta find some source of this. with the um eye thing the eye thing well your eye obviously can see things that are we can't see you said it yourself yes what do you see around here what do you see on the armor i'm gonna take another look at the armor with good old eye Oh, that's corrupt gay porn on my Twitter timeline. Huh? That's, I'm so, I'm that's so corrupt happy. Gay I, I had to see that. I'm so happy. Anyways. Well, uh, it looks the same as before, but the helmet is a little different now that you, like, look more into it. It looks the same as it did without your other eye on. Uh, actually, which eye are you using? I'm using the match guy. Okay. It, it looks basically the same, though there does appear to be a different sort of aura around it. And it's a lot more, how to put it, it's a variety of different, uh, more, more vibrant colors, honestly. And it seems almost flash, spread flash, that sort of thing, uh, between them in this odd circle. Uh, some of it, like, almost dancing up in wisps of smoke around it before going back down and turning into a mist. And, I, and as Naomi plays with this thing is when each color seems to change. The dap up, all that stuff. Though it doesn't seem to remain on one color even while she plays, it's just some colors seem to be more prevalent. Or I'm gonna make it gritty. Oh my god, bro. Shut It's It's gonna, it's gonna start getting sturdy, bro. Oh my god. Oresh is just gonna blink her magic eye, turning it into the like the serpentine eye that she got from the centipede queen. Yeah. Uh, staring at this thing, it seems to focus in on the helmet uh, before it shows another bit of directions. But the thing is, it's just pointing straight at it. Like the bit, the directional cue you receive is just straight at it, like a straight shot towards it. Though you do see there are little bits of lines that connect off of it and point to the dog as well, who has some bits of this energy on it, uh, the shifting in color and stuff. Though it appears more dull and grayed out almost. Oh, Rush is gonna approach the suit of armor, and it's just gonna like look it over just like looking at its entirety to see if there's anything like interesting about it that could possibly be mm, gleamed as to its nature or something uh from what you can see uh, of the armor and blunt bits are exposed whatever is under it is very malnourished and in fact it's probably undead uh, nothing could live for this long nothing could hold up this much armor and have so little muscle without being some sort of unnatural force. Uh, so it's most likely undead. Uh, the armor is has some of the sort of uh, rot pustules and stuff on it. You obviously don't touch it. And some of the symbols on there are obviously a beast. Some of them are infernal, abyssal, different sort. This seems to be a variety. And some of it... Hmm, some of the actual engravings are crossed out. Like, they've been physically, like... Burned or soldered or something. The ones that Sandy burnt out are one of the Raven, one of the Chimera, and what appears to be one of the Worm. Hmm. Like, as you pay more attention, you notice some bits of the head are different. It looks like a centipede to you, but there are some little features here and there. Uh, on the so on the right side of the helm, you can almost glimpse a pattern that you would imagine is smooth, almost like a worm. Uh, you can almost see where there was a, probably at one point a beak of sorts. It's been cut off, and it's not there anymore. Uh, 
maybe hanging somewhere else on the body, though probably on the inside, uh, where the court, where the living corpse of this uh, warrior once was. Uh, and that's about it, though. Little details here and there. Anyways, I have to piss. Do your theory crafting. I'll be right back. I'm also gonna. I'm gonna Welcome pause the recording. To theory. Not sh like just shifting form. I'm almost. back. Like you said, it was a beast, then a centipede-like beast. But, like, it's, there was other types of symbols on it. So it must be shifting between types of magic. Hmm. You get what I'm saying? Get what I'm saying? Nah. Yeah! Okay. You, you, you get what I'm putting down? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I get what you're putting down. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Thank you so much for thoroughly explaining that to me. Unfortunately, I have to explain it yet again because I'm so stupid. Uh, you gotta explain it again. My smooth brain uh, bounced it off. Okay, so the idea is that uh, this suit of armor has multiple engravings of the other uh, beasts of corruptions or the other corruption gods, quote unquote. And has them marked off. So meaning this one was likely made as one of them and then slowly turned into others. Or perhaps the god itself was was just transitioning between each of these. I believe more so that this specific one was being uh, transferred to other corruption gods. Bro, oh, it's transitioning. Jimder. 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 There are only two genders. Those are ways to interpret it. You don't shut up. Who the <sighs> fuck added me? Why do you add me in D and D shit? What's wrong with? I don't that? know. Chat room. Who? Peace. I don't know why you did that. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Chat room. This MF crazy. Chat. We got the gun. LMG with the box mag. Yeah, me when I get a M60 out of the box in Cold War Zombies. Anyways. Uh, the thing doesn't seem to attack you, and the dog doesn't either. The dog doesn't seem to care. It's just kind of watching you uh, as you do this. Wait, hold on. So it's not attacking us? No. It's just watching you. You're not Can harming it. Well, you're not harming either of them, so it doesn't. So it's not going to. What? There's two of them. There's the the suit of armor, and there's the dog. There could be another dog. You don't know. If there is another one, it hasn't appeared. But it's not attacking you. Well, does anyone else want to... Does someone want to try to walk up to one of these things? Uh... Oresh is going to walk slowly up to one of the doggy things. The dog just kind of looks at you. It doesn't do anything. You have to step back a little, though, as it uh, drools a little bit, and uh, some of the rot stuff uh, almost hits your uh, shoes. Oresh is just going to, like sort of, like, circle around it, just kind of looking at anything that could be of, like, notice. Wait, hold anything on. Anything important. I... I was gonna, I was gonna ask, but you can, you, you can do that thing first. I have a plan. What was that, Russia? What, you, what did you want to do again? Sorry. Just circling around and looking for anything. You yeah, I'm oh, just, okay. I'm just, uh... Oh, you're looking at it. I thought you were doing something. Give me a perception check for that. I'm gonna keep playing with you. Armor. I was gonna... 
Okay. Perception. Oh, that's pretty good. The 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 perception perception. God damn it. Perception perception. That is a dirty twenty. Let's go. Dirty twenty. All right. It doesn't seem to have anything unique about it until you really look into uh, its eyes and on its legs. We'll start with the eyes. They are rot pustules, but they're living properly as they look at you and stuff. And you imagine if you were to pop one, it would, you know, that had a good bit of rot. Uh, its teeth and its its whole mouth and stuff as well seem to have a lot of rot pustules in them, but it doesn't stop its rather sharp, uh, grangly, uh, somewhat ruined. Some of them are just completely not sharp. They're just blunt, but some of them are uh, teeth. Its legs are where it's really at, though as there are runes carved up and down uh, all of its legs. Uh, like, how to put it? The runes themselves, as you look at them, are shining slightly through what skin is left on the leg bone. And if you'd like to, you can make a history or an arcana. Try to figure out what these runes are or might be. Uh, it's essentially the same roll, so I'm just going to roll the d20. Alright. Oh, let's go. Shit. That's a six. Six. Uh, they look a little familiar, but you can't really, like, they're still, you know, you can't really tell. Hmm. Well, Rush is just gonna, like, pull out, like, a little notebook and just, like, write this down quickly. So she can maybe inspect it later whenever she knows more about magic and stuff. Alright. If you people want to, you may search more of this town. Our Russia would like to explore. Sure, I guess I can explore a little bit. I'm gonna chill out with the suit oh, of armor, unless it's gonna follow me around. That thing real quick, hold on. I have, I have a plan, Arthur. Can I try to use Bless on one of the, uh, plagued dogs? There's only one of them, but you can use, you can try to use Bless on it, yeah. Alright, I will now cast Bless on the dog. And see what will happen to it. Does anything of note happen to the dog whenever I do this? As soon as you do, uh, the little bit of uh, the little kind of golden, a uh, little bit of golden aura uh, that begins to come off this dog uh, seems to dissolve into the dog, and you notice some of its flesh uh, is slightly burned uh, as it begins to shy away from you, uh, letting out a li like a little uh, whelp. Well. Looks like, uh, whatever this thing is, is kind of unholy in nature. Seeing as I tried bliss on it, it whimpered and felt pain. Or did it feel pain? It did, yeah. Like, the, the okay. bit where bliss was casted. Uh, I want to phrase bless like this, I suppose. Bless is uh, imbuing somebody with a little bit of extra whatever they need to do, i.e. The, the, the bit just goes to your brain if it's an intelligence check, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. This thing was trying to do something, at least, maybe uh, some sort of check, but because it is a necrotic animal, technically, uh, the Bless harmed it. And where it is, was absorbed into uh, mainly its chest, uh, there that bit is now kind of like burned, like marked with a bit of radiant. Okay, so it just slightly burns it. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Well, I think I have an idea what we might have to do. I feel like we might have to un... Uh, what's the word? Unchaos, or I, I forget the word. Uncorrupt the place. There we go. Is anyone there, even listening? 
Yeah, I'm listening. I'm listening. Okay. Duck is muted, though. So Yeah, just people talking loudly. Gee, that's what you sound like, bro. Bro, shut up before I make out with you. Bro, 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 bro. Anyway, go, uh, what's happening, my brain? Um, so, well, Heinrich did a little test. He used bless on the dog, and uh. Go figure, it uh, it hurt it. Because it is a necrotic being and blesses a holy spell. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yep. And he's currently going to explore more of uh, this little town. This little chain town. Uh, Naomi. Yo. Every now and then, uh, this armor sneaks glances at Heinrich and tries to... Uh, tr is seemingly trying to communicate a little bit with you, but it can't seem to speak. It begins to like like it, it grabs one of the bits of wood and with uh I say does it know how to write? Yeah, it's trying to write something and it just kinda of is like cutting through the wood because like I said, the axe is in exquisite condition and all this wood is you know, it's what? old wood. It's going to break eventually. It's gonna try again. And it breaks another bit of wood before uh, looking I guess frustrated. I'll, I'll hand it I'll hand it paper. Because I should I should have paper on me. Do you have any paper? Do you have paper on you? That is the question. I, be I believe I have paper on me. Paper? Do you? You, hold on. You should have a map. You could probably let him write on the back of it. Because I think we agreed that you had the map. Actually, yeah. Wait, I, wait, I have the map? I treat it as a, uh, I treat it as a whoever wants to view it, basically. So if you want to say you have it and use it, that's fine. I'm not going to stop you. Even if, like, two yeah. people are using one map in different locations, I don't care. I'm not going to stop you. Yeah, let them use the map to try to communicate. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just... I'm, I'm going to just pull out a map and a pencil and turn the map upside down. Just give him the map and the pencil. And ask him, please don't rip the map. It gives you a nod uh, before it... God damn, all these rolls are really bad. Uh, he's, he's writing in a language you don't understand, but he also seems to be failing a little bit at it. It's a language I know Naomi does not know, or I'm pretty sure Naomi does not know, and it will be a little weird if Naomi does. Yeah, no, it's not. Honestly, Naomi knows. I'm going to try again one final time. God damn, I'm rolling again. I got another fucking 10. This poor bastard. He's so goofy. Okay, finally a fucking 19. I love him. You don't know, you don't recognize the language, but he writes a clear sentence in it. If you want to, you can make uh, a history check or some sort of intelligence-based check to try to figure it. Or at least get an idea of what it may be. I'll, I'll make a, um, a history, I guess. Okay. Let's see. Plus, plus three. That's a 14. 14. It's the language of something that would live in a higher place, like the mountains. Or would be a more cavernous style creature. So what, dwarvish? It doesn't, like, it doesn't um, look like dwarvish. Goliath? It doesn't look like Dwarvish, I can tell you that, but Goliath, something along those lines. Um, I'm just gonna try to dis decipher it. Yeah, you can make another check if you wish. Oh, and it, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just, can I just make an intelligence check? Yeah, go ahead, flat out. 19? 19. Uh, you were close with Goliath, but this gets you there, as there are Goliath. There are a lot of giant sub races and stuff. Goliaths, I do believe, aren't a sub race of them, but they live in relatively similar areas, to my knowledge. This is giant. It's not the giant you'd read. Like this is a different style. This is from a different area. Uh, the one, the the bit 
the bit you obviously wouldn't know if it was giant would be a mix of giant and Japanese. This is not. This is just straight giant. And it is a much older dialect of. You can't read what. You can't understand it, but you know it's a giant, though. Okay, hey, cool. Um, Naomi's then gonna look at, look at him, look at the big armor man, and then look sad, say, sorry, can't understand, and then, like, ask if he could try to draw pictures of what he's trying to tell me. Uh, the creature gives a nod and does his best to draw. Mm -hmm. Alright, different dice time. We're not using this dice. It hates me. It hates this guy. This dice hates this guy. It's evil. Me and my homies are yeah. evil. He seems to sketch out uh, on a uh, specific corner, though it is a little squish. Uh, on the back of the he seems to draw out the area, the large campsite with the uh, all the uh, shanty tents around it, uh, before drawing the uh, right side. And noticeably, the buildings look a lot more complete in his drawing. Like, they look... how to put it? The building, the largest building does still look like it's the ship, but it looks a lot more refined, and it's rather detailed. Uh, he seems to know all the little differences in the areas, adding little details here and there. Uh, you see dots in some places, and you figure they're probably where some of these uh, nests of uh, boils are. And he even points out a little area uh, to more to the left, like to the far left of this room, uh, where until now you would you hadn't looked, there is a outright a grave digging area uh, where there are makeshift caskets been made. Some of them are straight up sealed, and there's even what appear to be almost uh, pr like primal dog cages that have uh, uh, long past rot dogs in them. But he does note something in particular on this map besides that, is that the there seems to be something under this area like he like he motions to bits on the walls where they're very weak and draws them out on the little map a little bit it's not the best but it's enough that even a basic cartographer can understand that that sort of thing he also does okay, write so in giant uh he writes something in giant on it as well like above it okay okay so what is giant. he trying to tell me? I know giant. You know giant? Yes, I just realized He's a that. big guy. Why wouldn't he know giant? Because he's not a giant? It was one of the languages I could learn. He knows giant and orc. Common giant Wait, hold on. Give me, the, give me the thing. No. You haven't bothered to ask uh, um, uh, yeah. the other party members about it. So. Alright, I guess I'll try to mosey my way in. Hyra's gonna walk over. What are you trying to do? You see her trying to decipher pictures, like, uh. Is the, is the letter still there? The letters paper? are still there, yes. Uh, there's a separate bit of paper. Well, uh, next to where. Uh, next to this map. Or basically the exact. One of them is a sentence uh, that reads. Uh, it's an older giant dialect. It's not the one you're used to, but it's another dialect. You can still decipher it. Uh, uh, reads to the effect. Uh, truth lies in the bestial sanctuary and above where he's made this little map in this corner on this paper is in giant bestial sanctuary I'm just gonna grab it uh, peace what was it peace lies in a bestial sanctuary or whatever yes uh, it's, us, it's saying that we find the peace in the bestial sanctuary he's gonna what kinda, sanctuary uh, can I try to get, like, at the angle of what he drew it at and try to see where I could try uh, to... There are some bits on where he's clearly drawn, like, walls of the area. Obviously, it's a map, so it looks a lot smaller than it really is, but... Yeah. Uh, there are bits that are, like, weak, but they're, like... There's little notes here and there that, that are weak with a question mark. That sort of thing. Like, clearly indent of... I don't know if this is weak because it's just rock structure that's degraded, or if this is like a hidden path. And there are there's one to the left, one to the right, and there's one directly in the middle 
uh, where the uh, where the bonfire is, or the you know the long dead bonfire is. Which way leads to the uh, sanctuary? You don't know. You'd have to try all of them. Hmm. All right. I don't recommend we split up, but uh, we gotta try to find a, the bestial sanctuary. Mm -hmm. Which on the map that the uh, corrupted. I, I'm gonna call him the knight. The knight has ever so given us. Thank you. Uh, it appears we have to go there. Though the way leading to there has to go through one of these three things. Kind of points to the three routes. So, that one's weak. That one is question mark weak. And mm -hmm. this one. Wait, hold on. What was the other one again? One of them was weak. One of them was question mark weak. Yeah. And then the other one was what now? The other one was uh, in just straight up the middle. Uh, like like where the bonfire is for the camp area. Right. There's no there's no denotion. Like there's no notes under it. Though, so, and then there's one that's right by the bonfire. Now we can try and go one at one of us per route, but I think all three of us going through each route would be safer. Splitting the party is something you should never want to do. Uh, Naomi looks at uh, Cor Mr. Corrupt Knight, sir. Um, you know, could you maybe lead the way? Help us find it? Yeah, that would be a bit fun. He looks mildly frustrated by this, but it gives a nod uh, as it begins to lead you, uh, lead. Weber is going with it uh, to the one that is near the graveyard. And the one by the graveyard is a bit odd. It appears to be uh, a large set of gravel that's like there's a slope uh, into some sort of area, but it's covered by a large bit of gravel. And it looks like a fuck ton of gravel you'd have to move. And uh, the knight clearly looks rather frustrated at this. And you notice there's a pile right next to this of gravel that's been dug up. Uh, and you can see the knight beginning to reach for the shovel. As if he's done this before. It's just starting to dig. Yeah. Based. Um, I right, guess I'll wait what? for it to dig. Tell yeah, I me, mean, what, what did you have it do? It, I didn't have it. I, I had it lead us to the shrine it's talking about. The sh Wait. Shrine to the corruption gods. Or uh, it God. Said, it, said, it said we'll find peace at a shrine, so you know. Well, the least the beastial home. sanctuary. A sanctuary. That's, that's what the so paper said. So I was telling him to take us to this sanctuary for beasts. You know, I'm I'm you know part beast, so you know. Interested in it, you know? Um, I... I suppose... Maybe that's why he approached me in the first place. I don't know. Possibly? Maybe I'll find more of my people in there. I'm not gonna help the man dig. Or the knight dig. I don't think fruitless we'd be able task. to help him very much. It appears a fruitless task, as the pile that I mentioned before, where it's clear he's, been, he's tried to do this before, is large. There's still a lot more to go. Um, can we get a bit of, ha uh, bit of a hand here? I think I see why he was a bit aggravated. Um, I guess now we were trying to help push gravel out of the way and get rid of this pile. Alright. Make strength checks. Alright, strength check. I'm pretty good at those. 
My Never strength mind. is zero. I got a 19. <laughs> Never mind. I got another nat one. That's two nat ones in a row. May I, Mr. DM? Meet hmm. me, store DM. He rolled a nat one. He's bad. I got a I 19. Rolled two nat ones. Are you a heads or tails kind of guy? I'm a heads man. I like getting head. Whoa. Hey, yo. No, no, first. You will not be receiving head today. Tails are pretty good, I'm gonna be honest. Damn it. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. gravel is kind of slippery. Uh, and it keeps falling off of, uh, your attempts with your weapon. It's slippery course, and it gets everywhere. Yeah. Uh, you, know, you do a lot better. Uh, you're used... Not like Heinrich wouldn't be used to traditional work. But trenches, you don't have to dig trenches yet. We're so far from trenches in history. So this isn't his expertise, Naomi. You're used to doing work, digging up a bit of land here and there. That sort of stuff for your monastery originally. Uh, you know. So you get a little more work in than he does, and you're doing your best to put gravel uh, in that pile. A few it slips back, but it's not a lot. And uh, I hate to say it like this, Oresha, you see this? And it looks like a waste of time. Oh boy. This is going to take a while. Yep. Are, are you sure you want to do this? Uh, positive. This is going to at, at least probably take a day. Got or any more. other ideas? I don't know, maybe exploring more? Rather than going straight to a place. What beastly sanctuary? It sounds cool. Though I think getting it through this grave must be a... Uh... This genuinely sounds like a waste of time. I think it showed us the path we needed to go down. I think it's digging. For I don't know what reason. <laughs> So, I think, is there a way to continue ahead on this path? There are two other ways you can go about it. There is the bonfire, there's one directly under. It seems like to get there on through the bonfire, it's directly under. But, it's a bonfire, and there's a sanctuary. Um, I think Naomi had the right idea by saying shrine. Even if it is wrong, shrine is not a wrong way of putting it. For a little bit of a hint there. There is also another path by the wall that looks like it's loose, but you don't know, but uh, the note just denoted with it was weak question mark. So it's clear, it, it, you know, that it he, the knight can't tell if it is weak on purpose or if it's just structure, you know. Then... I guess we'll go to the thing that is called oh, weak. Okay. okay, so... so right, if a... it's a shrine, right? Yes. S since I am proficient in shrine... Um... <laughs> what, I, what I know of... I am proficient like, in shrine. I am proficient in shrines. Um, what, what, what I know of, like, there'd be several entrances to the shrine, and what I know, like where they could maybe be there are multiple entrances but when i say shrine uh i'm saying the bonfire is a little different than the other paths i'll, I'll say circle. this i'll say this logan you got the right idea what do you do at a shrine sometimes pray besides sacrifice pray. sacrifice Logan's oh i didn't know it was idea. that kind of shrine i didn't know it was that kind of shrine it's a god of corruption of course there's gonna be sacrifices! And you just so happen okay. to have a pretty complacent rot dog. Mmm, we're gonna have to do a- Oh, no, dude. We are not do doing this, However, dude. you don't have to go that way if you don't want to. It's technically the sacrifice the rot dog. Yeah. You could do it I that think... way, but you can also check the other one. Dude, I think sacrificing the dog will give us bad karma. Like, it's a karma system. There's a karma system. It's already mostly dead. It's a corrupted rot dog. But I don't think it wants to be rot dog. Bro, I'm gonna rot exactly. your dog, so dude. We should put it out of its misery. By sacrificing I'm gonna rot it your dog. Gods? Yes. I don't think that's how that works. 
It should go go. It should go be with its with its kind, corrupted kind. The, Naomi has some weird logic. No, this is not. This isn't in character. Naomi doesn't want to sacrifice the doll. I know. <laughs> okay. Uh. Well. I guess to the weird altar, the fire pit thing, the whatever. He's gonna kind of lead the way. Okay. Naomi keeps digging. Okay. See if there's something at this uh, bonfire that can help us. Don't worry, I'm sure if anything were to attack Naomi, she has cool big metal friend now. What if so. I just push the whole thing of gravel on you? What would you do? Cry. What if I... If I chopped you up in a meat grinder, and the only thing that popped out was your eyeball, you'd, you'd probably be dead. Yeah, probably. I'd hope. Uh, but yeah, are you going? The bonfire is not lit. It has been. It's since been burned out. Like I said, there's wood, there's clothes, there's old light, paper, there's old books. Light the bonfire. It'll set. It'll set our respawn point. Or it'll most likely spawn an eldritch god. Nope. It'll. It'll. It's. It's our spawn point. Uh, nah. Uh, can I make an investigation to see if there's anything else but, like, you know, old paper, whatever? Oh, around? go ahead. Do, 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 do. Where the fuck is... There's the investigation. Uh, I got a net 20, but minus 1, so 19. You go crazy with it. I go crazy with it. After, like, two net 1s in a row, I got, I got a, I got a 20. course currently uh, as you look around there are there are the wooden shanty houses that no one is using anymore so you could use those for the fuel but they're a bit of a slow burn because that's just like throwing wood in there what you find is clothing and other lighter sort of things to throw in there uh, you also find what appears to be a odd looking broken crystal that uh you can tell is a little bit of magic in it <laughs> Left. The scepter! The, the the weird scepter thing. I'm gonna pick that up. Yes. The scepter? I'm gonna go back and go put it in the scepter, see what happens. Hmm. It does anything. It does do something. The, the actual uh, bit of the ball atop lights up a little bit. Magic. Uh, sparks and fizzles. Uh. And Naomi... It's like this knight has some sort of sixth sense as as soon as he does this, as soon as Heinrich does it, this knight looks in the direction of Heinrich. <laughs> and whereas it picked up a shovel that was already there, it's slowly beginning to draw its uh, axe off its back. <laughs> uh oh, uh, are, we, are we fighting now? She puts her hand on her sword. As she also looks in the direction of Heinrich. Heinrich, you don't notice this just yet. Until you look over and you see that this knight is staring at you. And he has his great axe drawn. And he's beginning to slowly walk towards you. Heinrich is gonna pull the crystal away from the scepter. He stops and he still gives you a look though. As you're still holding it. I'm just gonna walk over with this crystal and kind of give it to him. Uh, I'm, I guess you know what to do with this. As soon as he takes the crystal, you can't usually tell anger by posture, but uh, this guy seems fucking angry. And as soon as he gives him the crystal, he crushes it with his hand. Uh, I see. My apologies. I'm receiving a call from my grandma. My oh. grandma? Where is she dead? Heinrich's grandma Hi. calls him mid... <laughs> Hi. What does he need help with? 
You wanna me making burgers? Burgers? Imagine having a grandma. Me making hamburgers? Couldn't um, be me. Mm. Alright. That should be me! I will decide in a moment. Enough, enough, enough pity. You had enough. Fucking Wagyu beef? Okay. Oh, uh, I might be done in a second. Yes, I know what Wagyu beef is. It's, it's a Japanese beef. How, how long has it been? Stuff like acorns I don't and are naturally it. fed. And when they die, they play music. How long have we been recording for? Really, really, I don't, I don't. really. Good question. I don't not know. Because I might That's have to leave soon. Because I'm getting go like, rather tired. It's got a lot of marbling and, and stuff. And then also food. Uh, I will decide in a moment, though, if I'll be down or I won't. Uh, I'm in the middle of something, so, you know. Also, food. You don't, you don't need to awesome. eat. You know that, right? Yeah, like, yeah. that's just a concept yeah. made by Big Food in, in 2002. All right. <laughs> big Food? Yeah. Yes, ever, Big Big Food. Heard? Yeah, you know Big Food. Like, you know, they own food. Like, they made food. And, I don't like, know what the fuck they, you guys are they, talking, my, talking about, but they, I've been given the opportunity. They brainwashed us and... I've been given the opportunity to help cook some Wagyu beef that is downstairs. Who got my no. fucking Wagyu? What? Yeah, I don't know where they bought Wagyu from. It's just expensive, so... Dad bought Wagyu. Up to you guys. Uh, I'll leave you guys. We're an hour 36 minute in, m m minutes in. We have other half I hour. might have to leave soon, dude. You might have to? Yeah. Ah. Uh, mm. He's a baby. Little oh, baby man. I'm not a baby! Well, uh, we'll Good kill it here, man. and we can uh, pick it up next time. I don't know what you're talking about with Big Food earlier. That'll be funny to listen back to. Well, well, well like, Big Food brainwash people into thinking that we need to eat food yeah, because, you know, know, they make uh, food. Next time, next uh, Wednesday, uh, after, oh, I, uh, I don't know what I'm going to probably I'll probably edit this tomorrow. I don't know. Anyways, that's the end of the session. We'll pick up uh, next week with the funny puzzle and such. <gasps> right. Puzzles! Yeah, but, 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 but.